Hi, DaVinci Resolve fans, this is Ian Haig. I've written some scripts in Python to help render, rename, and open timelines. They're pretty basic, but I find them super useful. So I thought I'd share them with you. I'm just going to assume that you know your way around the terminal. Um, this is how I'm running the scripts. I know that you can run scripts in uh, Resolve itself, but this these ones make use of uh, arguments on the command line which I'm not aware of uh, if that's easy or possible when you're running it in Resolve so hence the terminal um, they're all tested on the Mac I don't have Windows or Linux um, and one of them one of the scripts will actually require fzf uh, there's a this script called quick switch uh, otherwise you should be good to go hopefully uh, let me know if you're not so they're divided up into renaming things, rendering things, opening things, and listing things. So let's just jump straight in. Renaming things, rename timelines. So here's one I prepared earlier. We have four timelines, uh, all different versions. They're all version five, and they're different timelines for the sake of this little demo. So if I wanted to bump the timeline to six, instead of five on those ones, I can, I'm just gonna run Python in front and rename timelines. Okay, so this is where I put in my uh, regular expression. So in this instance, I could just say, the timelines that end with five, it'd be probably the easiest way to do it. So I'll put zero five, a dollar sign, which says at the end of the string, and then I'm just gonna type zero six and move that window so you can see what I'm doing. Press enter, it tells you what it's done. It's basically taken that and changed it to that. And it hasn't updated yet because it's in the background, but when I click on it, you'll see it's gone ahead. So the other thing that you can do if you want to get more complicated is use groups in the regular expression. So in this instance, I'm going to say, uh, I want it to search for two, any two digits, then a dot, and then any two digits again. And then I want it to replace with the first group that I found, which is the uh, part of the expression in the brackets, and then another dot, and then for argument's sake, we'll just go to some crazy number like 14, and you'll see that it works as well. So it's kept the um, it's kept the sort of the first two digits that it found here and it reused them here. Kept those and put them here. So that's it's not meant to be a, yeah, a tutorial on regular expressions, but just letting you know that you can get kind of tricky if you need to. Let's look at rendering things. First up, render by regex pi, that's a snappily named render by regular expression is effectively what that is trying to communicate. Um, so Again, looking at the timelines that we had before, uh, they were uh, began with W O. So let's look at those. We're gonna try and render those quickly. Render by regular expression, regex, uh, there we go. And we're gonna say at the beginning, wall, wallow. Let's see what happens. We're just gonna move on to the uh, render page so you can see nothing up my sleeves press that and there we go now it's made some assumptions about where you wanted to render them and what preset you wanted to use uh, you can change those by fiddling around in the code however it, you can also specify them from the command line so if I was to add a couple of switches here for example uh, destination I could say I want it to go onto my desktop folder and I can also change the preset now, what presets are available, you're asking yourself. I've got a script for that. If I go list render presets, it'll spit out every single uh, render preset that's currently on your system. So again, it'll make some assumptions about uh, what you wanna use if you don't specify. So I would specify a preset. So I'm gonna put in here um, P for preset and we'll say 720p mp4 the preset we want to use and destination will be the desktop 
So again, you can see over here the names. These are currently going into the current folder, which is my resolves scripts folder, which is not very helpful. Uh, and if you look over here, you can see it's a resolution of 1080p. So if I hit render on that, or enter on that, sorry, uh, we'll add them. Now they're going to the desktop. You can just see the end of that desktop. And the resolution has been taken from this preset here. So it all works. Currently, every time I press enter, it nukes the render queue, gets rid of everything. There is an option to keep it as well. So you could, for example, uh, let's take another preset. I'm going to change it here. Um, so MXF uh, Ian is the one I'm going to use. Um, and the switch to keep the queue is just K. So as you can see, there are four jobs in the queue right now. And if I press enter, it will not delete the original. They're still in there. You've got the MP4s, but you've also got the MXF files. So that was using, usually I want to erase the queue every time, but if you use the K switch, then you'll keep the queue. So you can add to what you've got in there. Um, just while I think of it as well, the all of these um, scripts have got a little basic sort of help mechanism built into them. Thank you, Python. So if I um, press, uh, if I put a little H switch afterwards, it tells you what it expects. It's got a bit of a description. It's got positional arguments, which means ones that are necessary, and then optional arguments, which means they're optional. So you have a destination preset. It just gives you a little reminder. I forget how to use them as well. Okay, that was render by regular expression. You can also render by suffix, which is just more or less the same thing, except rather than using a regular expression, you just type in a regular string and it will just chuck that on the timeline without having to mess around with regular expressions, just a kind of a convenience uh, utility. So we'll just run that one really quickly, render by suffix. It takes the same switches as render by regular expression. So I could say, um, why is that keyboard? Keyboard, let's just start again here. Render by uh, suffix and destination. Let's put it into my home folder. And preset, again, I will just have a quick look at what presets I've got. Uh, let's render presets. Okay, we use, I don't know, Pro Tools. Pro tools doesn't work I forgot to give it a suffix so every file that ends in an s every timeline that ends in an s so there they are there are four if I have a look at not screen flow if I have a look at resolve you can see it's used the pro tools uh, preset and there they all are and as you can see if I go back I could I don't know I could choose something else I could use 14 as my suffix Let's see what that looks like. So there we go. Just to demonstrate that it really does work. There they are. Okay, so that was rendered by regexp and by suffix. Opening things, open last file and folder. I don't know if anyone else would find this helpful, but I find it helpful. Uh, sometimes I, I use manual versioning. Um, so you, as you can see, just using the uh, file name just incrementing it by one every time. If I was in this, uh, the first version of the file, and I didn't know what the last uh, version of the file was, what the number was, so here we are, 01. Um, all I would need to know is the name of the folder that I'm interested in. The folder in this case is just demo. So close that. The one that we want is uh, 04, is the most recent version. Now, it's not actually technically the most recent version. It's basically the version that comes last when you list them alphabetically. So, as I say, it's a super niche. But let's do it anyway. So, uh, open last file in folder, one that I prepared earlier. I would just type in demo. And it will take a moment because I'm running on a very slow machine with a very slow external hard drive. But eventually, once we've seen the rainbow beach ball turning around a little while, there it goes, 04, it works. 
Right, so that was open last file and folder. Very simple. Open timelines match in regular expression. You've pretty much um, got the hang of this by now, I bet. And I don't want it to go on for too long, but if I close a whole bunch of timelines here, they're all closed. So I could just say, I find this helpful to just opening a whole bunch of timelines at once. Um, uh, we're gonna use our, I don't know, let's try and use something different. Everything with selects in the name. So I could say uh, open timelines match in regular expression and we'll just type in selects. And uh, here we go, one, two, three. There are five timelines with selects in the name. If I wanted to just open the ones with selects at the end, then I would just modify my regular expression to say, give it one of those. And there we go. Expected a variable name after this, I'll put it in single quotes, not double quotes, uh, yeah, better. So now everything that had selects at the end got opened as a timeline, perfect. Getting near the end now, hang in there. So uh, quick switch, this one, I it doesn't open a lot of timelines, it just opens one timeline, but it sifts through all of your timelines really quickly. So you just run quick switch, uh, I've set it up so I don't need to put Python in front of it. Um, and it will show you all your timelines and it gives them to FZF, which is the uh, fuzzy finder. So I can start typing in, so I could say wall 03 and it will instantly understand that I mean that timeline. When I press enter, it will open that timeline and bring resolve to the front. Now that's only going to work on the Mac at the moment because it's actually using um, a little bit of Apple script to bring resolve to the front, so I guess you could modify that if you wanted to use it on Windows or Linux, um, because FZF is certainly available on those platforms. Um, but yeah, that's very simple, but I, I find that really helpful if you've got a lot of timelines that you need to uh, sift through really quickly, and they're all in different folders. Okay, um, and then the other ones are just basically listing things, and I've just grouped them all together because they they don't do much. They're mostly just for me to kind of understand uh, the scripting API and figure out what Resolve is looking at. So this one, list info, uh, basically just kind of grabs a whole lot of um, list info, list info. It just, of course it's not going to work. Oh, it's because there's no timeline open. Okay. We'll use quick switch to open a timeline and then we'll use list info. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, it is these scripts are not rock solid. Uh, you should probably be working on a, a backup until you get the hang of it. Um, but this just gives you, prints out a whole lot of stuff about current project, current timeline. The Just on that, the rock solid aspect, the only thing that will actually change your project uh, to the best of my memory is the one that renames timelines. So, you know, you, you should be working on a backup with if you're running someone else's scripts, but this is just a friendly reminder. Okay, so there you go, info. Um, you've also got to uh, inf get information about the current video item, for example. That's just basically whatever the um, timeline is uh, currently over. And also, the time code. Well, you could maybe you know use that to um, automate something. Who knows? It's up to you. And I think that's everything. So uh, give it a try. I hope it's helpful. I hope this didn't go on too long. Um, thanks for watching. I'm kind of new at this whole tutorial thing, so be gentle with me. And um, it was fun. Thanks a lot. Bye.